the channel so in today's video i got a box from big bad toy store so let's just open this bad boy up and get straight to it and it's one i've been dying to get my hands on dying to get my hands on i see people already boxed it a lot of people got theirs and I haven't got mine yet because I've been waiting on Big Bad. Um, I, I think if you order straight from Mesco's site, you'll get it faster than if you order from other stores like that. But here is Gambit. And oh my God, I cannot wait to, to unbox this thing. Man, he's going to be so badass. I cannot wait to get this apart. So guys... Let's just get right to it. Okay, guys. So when you open this bad boy up, this is what you see inside. He has another head scrap. I went ahead and took off the um, paper so you guys can actually see it. Of course, he has all his super badass um, abilities. You know, his um, cards, some with fire. Um, of course, they're uh, pink, you know, to match him. Um, and then he has the super cool Poe. Then he has some extra play cards on the side. And of course, all the equipable hands. And then him himself, which is just glaring off the camera, looking absolutely badass. I love the pink color to it. Just immediately right off the bat, as you guys can tell. But we'll get a closer look at it when we take him out. Um, you guys can barely tell, but the eyes are pink. On the inside because his eyes are squinted so you could barely tell but if you get a good look at it you guys can kind of tell right there that his eyes are pink but like I said we'll take it out and see how he looks oh my god I can't wait for this hey guys so this is how he looks out of box so it absolutely look badass I know the uh, the light on the camera is giving it more color to it but honestly it just looks so badass so I really like it. But anyways, this is what I mean. The eyes are kind of pinkish, kind of, I don't know if that's pink or red, Ram, or I am super colorblind. So, <laughs> but it, it's just a badass take. And then the hair, which is sculpted, just looks pretty badass flowing off of him. Here's the side look. And then here is the back. Um, You know, the jacket's covering his back, his back plate. So there is that. There's a little bit on the blue on the inside, which I do like. Um, I'm not going to take off the jacket, so I'm just going to talk about it right now. Um, you know, he has his, his black clothing, you know, his black cough on the inside as well as shoulder pads. So the jacket can come off, but I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to take it off, especially with Gambit. So there is that. And I'm going to show off the other head scalp as well so you guys can get a good look at it. Okay, guys, so this is the other head sculpt, and yeah, um, I kind of like the other one better. This one, the only big difference is between this one and this one is that he is grinning on this one, and this one he's looking more mad pissed off. So I'm most likely going to use the original head sculpt that came on it, but here's a, just a quick close-up on what he looks. So like I said, his eyes is reddish, pinkish, I don't know what you call that, because I am colorblind, but... It's the same thing, you know, his sculpted hair, the hair is around the, uh, the same as well. So, you guys can tell for yourself. Um, yeah, this one's kind of a little bit more browner. This one's kind of lighter. But you can't really tell the difference, to be honest with you. So, here's a side look at it. Then here's the back look as well. So, yeah. Um, now, let's just mess around with the accessories and put the figure together. Here is one of the accessories. He has the small one. Looks like it's the card with the pink uh, effect. I know for sure that's pink. <laughs> and then he has this one that flows with all the... I really like this one. You know, because you can see the cards flowing out of his hands. And then it's going over his shoulder. So it looks like he's actually doing the blast out of his hands with the card. So that looks badass. Most likely I'll be replacing this small one and using the Poe to go with it but I wanted to show that off real quick before I switch it so um, that's the only other effects that he has to go with this figure I mean I'm lying he actually has other effects which you could actually put like I did a horrible job showing that off so it, it's a real small one right there 
and he has another one that's more like a, just a little card blast. So my fat fingers is probably covering it up, but you guys can see it right there. Um, yeah, so he has another blast right there. So like I said, we're not gonna use that one. I'm just gonna use the pole to go with it because it says Gambit. And man, I just love this Gambit. Gambit is definitely one of my favorite X-Men. Um, and actually I could show off the stand as well. So here is the stand and you guys can tell brand new, just looking beautiful. Love the, it looks like it's glitter on the inside. I don't think it is, but it looks like it. Just love the color that's flowing off of this. And yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna switch hands and use the actual, um, the actual pole to go with it. So yeah, we'll switch it out. Okay guys, so this is how he looks with the pole. Uh, you could put the pole a little bit more further. Or whatever but i'm just gonna leave it like that and then i'm gonna use this blast but whatever i just love this brown cloth to go with it with the jacket oh my god this jacket is looking pretty badass so you know he has two little straps on the back side and yeah just look at that look at this jacket oh my god i wish i got a jacket like that that's pretty badass i love the cream on the inside oof so sweet anyways look at that the pink just the pink and the, the black and the blue is just flowing right off each other um, down to his helmet. Um, looking so badass. Of course, I switched back to the original head sculpt that came with it. Down to the cloth. You know, uh, then it has pink on the on the inside of the, the lines of his um, pants that look so badass. He has the X-Men, uh, the X um, belt buckle along with some pouches on the side and then here is the bottom which is the blue um boots that looks like steel and oh my god i'm telling you man masco did an amazing job when he came down to this figure holy crap i cannot wait for the other ones as well because i got the other ones on pre-order as well there should be um uh who else is coming out thanos there's a uh, kg beast uh, Mr. Freeze, um, and ton more, man. I cannot wait to get these more, more in, but this is one final last look of Gambit. But we're not finished just yet, guys, because we still got more in this video because, you know, Gambit loves cards, and so do I. So I'm going to switch them out be right back. Before I do that, I forgot to show off this. So he has an extra deck of ha uh, cards. So if you guys want to switch them out, of course, it's the Red of Hearts. So, yeah, I forgot to show that out, so I apologize about that. But, like I said, we're going to switch them out. I mean, look at him. He is so badass. Look at that. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Okay, guys, so I wanted to include this in this video. So when I was in Target... I was looking around. I was looking for a certain booster pack deck that came out. And um, I follow this channel called Two Peas in a Pop where they used to do Funko videos. Now they do Pokemon unboxings. So I was sitting there. I was watching. I was like, man, that's pretty cool. I was like, man, you know, I did Yu-Gi-Oh unboxings on a channel before. Um, I have a Yu-Gi-Oh video that I never uploaded. Um, on the channel, maybe I'll upload that one day. But, um, but I was like, man, let me let me look at it and see what's over there. So, I found a whole bunch of legendary duelist Rage of Rod decks, um, booster packs in there, and apparently you could pull some real good ones. Um, so I heard people was pulling like uh, Weed Dragon Raw, so. That would be pretty awesome to pull in some of these packs. And then I seen this one. This was probably the only booster packs. It comes with five foil cards, three legendary packs, one starter deck, one structured deck, and that's one special edition deck. So, yeah, apparently there is Sisters of the Rose, so maybe a good chance of pulling Harpy's Pet Dragon in there. And then there's the Kaiba, which most likely Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, Ultimate Dragon would be pretty cool. I believe we pulled that card before on this channel. Um, so, 
Let's start with these first. This would probably be better, better option. Um, yeah. So I was like, you know what? I could include that in this video, you know, because Gambit, even though Gambit only does um, regular cards, I was like, you know what? It fits the same, same type of style. So even though he don't do Yu-Gi-Oh cards, um, I just wanted to include it in this video. So there is that. Um, let's open up the first deck, see what we can pull. So, let's see, since I already looked at the first two, might as well show them all first. Um, uh, Jinzo the Returner, damn, that's a cool card. Um, he is actually one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! videos I uploaded because, uh, the person I was battling was using a Jinzo deck. So hopefully I'm doing a good job of showing this card off. That's actually pretty badass. I like that. Um, Mech Lord Astro Mene, Mene something. I don't know, but it's a 4,000 machine card. Uh, 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense. So this might be one of the mega pools in this pack. I'm not familiar with that card, but that's pretty awesome. A Wild Monster Pierce. It is a spell card. Uh, if your opponent only if your opponent controls a monster special summon from your hand, one monster with the original level of ten or lower must be normal normal summon set, ignoring its summoning condition. So yeah, um, you, if you play this spell card, you could get this Mechlord Astro card out there. So yeah, that's actually pretty badass. And um, here is another card that probably goes with it. It's a Mechlor. So Mechlor must be a new uh, meta. So I am not familiar with Mechlor monsters. But there is the spell card. And last but not least, the actual Jinzo. So yeah, we actually pulled Jinzo. That's actually pretty badass. I love Jinzo. Jinzo is one of my favorite cards. One of the most unique characters in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I think he's up there with the design from um, Summon Skull. So yeah, pulling Jinzo. I wish he was holographic. That would have been badass. But now on to the second deck. See what we could pull in the second deck. I'm going to do my best not to look at the last card. Uh, let's put the last card in the front. So another Mechlord Emperor spell card. Um, I got a feeling we're going to be pulling a lot of duplicates. Uh, another Mech Lord Astro the Eradicator. So here is a trap card that goes with the Mech Lord. Um, yeah. Uh, Ra's Disciple. So this card helps you, basically helps you bring out the Egyptian God Monsters. Um, when you when you summon this card, you can special it up in two Ra Disciples. So if you have three of these cards, you can special summon them just by summoning this card. And if you have a Egyptian God card in your hand, you could bring out that Egyptian God card. So yeah, there is that. Uh, token Sunday. So here is destroy all token monsters. Tokens you control to destroy cards on a field up to the number of tokens destroyed by this effect. So if you use a token deck, real good spell card to have. And Genzo Jector. So yeah, pulling Gen another Genzo. Um, yeah, so if I walk and start a Mechlord deck, a Egyptian God deck, and a Genzo deck, all within two packs. So that is so badass. <laughs> um, I really, I really love unpacks in Yu-Gi-Oh, man. When I was a kid, I definitely loved doing these type of things. Um... Just the joy on my face when I was younger. My my dad, all he had to do was just buy me Yu-Gi-Oh packs for for my birthday, and it saved him money and uh, made me happy at the same time. So, man, just love these Yu-Gi-Oh. A Cosmos channeling. So I don't know what that is, but the spell card. Oh, there is that. I'm trying to speed this up. Metal Reflect Slime. I like this card because this card. You could play it as a trap card. So it's really a trap card, but you could play it as a monster and you could put it in defense posi uh, position and it's 3,000 defense points. So yeah, it's a real good card to have, especially if you need time to bring out some one of your special monsters. 
And there's that Psychic Sakui. I love the Psychic decks. Um, there's that Juggerado. So, um, not familiar with Juggerado. Actually, I think I am. I just don't know what deck he evolves to. But there's Juggerado. And another Mechlord Astro Dragon Asterisk. So, like I said, we're building the Mechlord decks right here, right now. And the last deck of this... Or the last pack of this deck. So let's just continue on right to it. I already accidentally look at the lot of cards. So there is Ra's Disciple. So like I said, just need one more. One more Ra's Disciple. Mech Lord. The Deflection. So there is another Mech Lord spell card. Uh, Mech Lord Army Deployer Obligato. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get familiar with Mech Lords. Um, it has some pretty awesome cards, and this one's a uh, holographic. So there is that uh, reboot. It's a spell card for Mech Lords, and another Mech Lord. So Mech Lord Emperor Vazel. So there is that with those two. Down to our last four packs. Unfortunately, well, until we get to the booster booster deck so if you guys are liking this video please consider hitting the like and the subscribe button uh, if you like to see more video just like this more unpacksings um, that tells me that you guys like this type of video and you guys will definitely want to see more or you can comment down below if you guys will want to see more either though shows me that you guys are interested in it if you guys don't then most likely I will probably stop doing this but I'm going to do it anyways because I like it. Another Mech Lord spell card. Another Genzo. So we got two Genzos. That's pretty cool. Another's Ra's Disciple. So yes, now we can officially break out the Egyptian God card. Hopefully in these last three packs, we actually pull an Egyptian God. Uh, Mech Lord Emperor Skill and Reactor Slime. This card also helps out. To bring out the Egyptian God because it actually deploys tokens. So there is that. It's the last pack of this pack. And we got Monster Reborn. So if you guys don't know, this is one of the banned cards. Most people don't allow you to play this because it's so OP. Because if you have a destroyed monster, you play this card, you can bring it back from the dead. Another Jinzo. Another jack door to help with the jizzle deck holding arms so that's actually pretty cool to pull that and then everlasting alloy so uh if you control one jizzle all machine mod cannot be destroyed so here's a spell card for jizzle so like i said you want to run that jizzle deck there is a spell card to help you last two packs Still no Egyptian God card. We still haven't pulled them. Uh, even though I have Egyptian God card already, that'll still be awesome to pull another one. Out of the booster packs. Okay, left armed offering. So here's a spell card. You know, there is that Psychic Shockwave. We've already seen that. we already seen Moselle. Uh, Mechlord Army of Grinnell. So there is that. Uh, another Mechlord Monster. And Psychic Mega Cyber. Never heard of this card. If your opponent controls more spell traps than you do, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Psychic Mega Cyber once per once per turn this way, when this card declares an attack um, on an opponent effect monster, while you control Zen Jinzo, you contribute this card, place the opponent's monster face up in the spell and trap as a continuous trap. So yeah, real powerful card if you ask me, I really like this. And the last and final pack of this, um, Rage of Raw. Is and we're gonna do our best not to look at the card so we could be surprised so that you guys see it first. Cyber energy shock, so another trap card, I mean, another spell card for Jinzo. Um, 
Hopefully Wing Dragon. No Mechlord Assembly. Um it's another spell card for Mechlord deck. Wing Dragon Raw. Nope. Jirago. Come on, baby. Mechlord Emperor Skill. And the last card of this pack opening. Chaos Infinity. So no Wing Dragon Raw, but we're able to build a pretty awesome Mechlord deck. Genzo. And a psychic monster, so there is that. So now let's just get straight to the unboxing from this deck. And I'm gonna rip this bad boy open, even though it's sealed completely sealed. So this one has it's a, a starter deck, so it has basically link monsters. Uh, spell card, so we're not gonna just open this because starter decks are kind of eh, because it says on the back what is actually in the deck, so there is actually no surprise on most of them. But there is a monster reborn, a dark hole, good card. Everybody loves dark hole. Beast King Cyber, there's a Cyber Dragon in here as well. Marshmallow, um, Swift Scarecrow. Row. Yeah, so a lot of good cards in this in this uh, starter pack. We're not gonna open that. So, oh, it came with some cards that are already out of the box as well. So there's a prominent hands, which is a hollow, a plankton. So there is that uh, elemental hero, Captain Cold. So the elemental hero. I remember we pulled a lot of elemental hero. And unfortunately, this part, this pet card got actually damaged, so that's really unfortunate. Uh, satellite Cannon, so there is that. And Queen's Knight, so I remember if you get all the Queen, all the Knight monsters, they have formed this big monster. I forgot who it was. But this deck, this pack actually comes with three decks, so there is that. So, I don't know. Okay, this one has Blue Eyes White Dragon, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and Metal Raiders. So, there is that. And these come with nine cards. So, let's get right into it. So we're going to open up one Blue Eyes, one Metal Raiders, and then one Blue Eyes. So, there is that. First card is our mail. Pretty lame card. <laughs> Wasteland, so here's a spell card uh, or field spell card. You know, it helps with attack and defense, just raises it up by 200 for all zombie, dinosaurs, and rock type monsters. Then there is this, which is Witty Phantom, a fiend card. There is that Yami, so Yami helps with dark type monsters. Actually, another field spell card, so pretty, actually, pretty good. Charbin the Fire Knight. So there is a um, fusion card, <laughs> the sneeze. Um, Guy of the Dragon Champions, and there's a cool card. There's a cool card. Uh, it's Guy of the Fierce Knight and Curse of the Dragon. So actually pretty badass card to pull. I really like that one. Um, Lesser Dragon, familiar with that as well. Then there is Monster Egg. Last but not least, Machine Conversion Factory for all. Um, another field spell card for machines. So there is that. So now let's open up Metal Raider. So we, out of that whole pack, we pulled one real badass card out of that whole deck. And since I've already seen the bottom, we're going to show this off. If you guys are familiar with OG Yu Gi Oh! You know Castle of Dark Illusions. So there is that. Um, then there is this, which is King of Yami Maki. So another Fiend card. Then there is this, which is Protector of the Throne. Another OG card, if you are familiar with the original Yu-Gi-Oh. Then there is Asian Brain. Okay, then there is Skull Knight. I used to love the Skull Knights. Just because of the design, it's actually so badass to pull this. Oh my god, I really like that card. Uh, then there is Magician of Faith, real good card if you like bring back spells from your graveyard. So there is that Crash Clown. So here's another OG card if you're familiar with Kaiba's deck. So there is that 
last two cards of this pack opening. Uh, Deep Sea Shark. So there is that. And the last card of this deck. And it's Hoyusub. Hoyusub. So that is it. And then the last card of this pack opening is right here. So let's just get right on to it. And probably the end of this video. So the first card is Petite Dragon, which is a pleb. Then there is this uh, Flame Ma Manipulator, and this helps brings in. Um, this is Joey's deck. This is one of Joey's card. You fuse this with um, the Swordsman, and makes Flame Swordsman. So there is that. Um, hopefully we'll pull Flame Swordsman. Um, Karama. Fiend Reflection, number two. So there is that. Um, Witty Phantom, we've already seen that. Arm Ninja, there is that card as well. Doin, Doin. Last two cards of this pack opening. Terra the Terrible. And Silver Bow and Arrow. So yeah, kind of disappointing last deck. But we pulled some good cards, man. I mean, cards we could add to... Uh, to the to my um collection you know it was actually you know it's fun like i said it's fun opening up these cards uh, might as well just open up the big pack so we could get it uh get out some of those As a matter of fact i just show this off so you've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, this is how the border looks so you, you like i said you have the five monsters you have the spells and trap cards you got the extra decks then there is the Pedanium Zone uh, Graveyard. So there is that. So you guys want to get a good glimpse of that. I got way better um, things than that. Then there is some um, uh, manuals. If you're not used to Yu-Gi-Oh! Then you buy one of these starter packs decks to know what's in there. Then they give you cards you could start off with. Okay, guys, so let's see. Widget Kid, Leotron, Flameville Guard. So this is actually a good Turner card. Has a strong defense, which is 2,000. The most number of cards can attack it and could turn, help turn into any um, uh, Turner monster. So there is that. Beast King Barbados is a real good card as well if you're running the Beast deck. Then there is a Cyber Dragon. So that's definitely one of my favorites. I love the Cyber Dragon decks. Um, because it turned you can use this to turn into Infinity Um Dragon. And that card is overpowered. Super overpowered. Hard to get rid of. Uh, Marshmallow. You play this card in defense mode. Then somebody attacks it and they lose a thousand life points. Um, yeah, they lose a thousand life points, and this card stays up. It cannot be destroyed by um by by battle. So, real hard card to get rid of, if you ask me. Um, then there is what else? Scapegoats in here helps with tokens. Uh, Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, Mystical Typhoon. So it helps destroy um, any spell. Cards or traps, Book of Moon. Um, what else? What else? Mirror Force, everybody's favorite card. <laughs> um, you play this in your trap card, it's a trap card. You play this face down. Then, when somebody attacks, you could play this card and destroy all their attacking monsters that are in attack mode. So, there is that. Bottomless Trap Pole, so a card that has any monster that has 1,500 attack or more, you could play this card and it automatically destroys it. Uh, Torrential Tribute as well helps out with those cards. So it's a real good trap cards in some of these starter decks as well. Then there are some Link monsters, which I am not familiar with Link, so we're not going to show that off. But guys, that is probably the end of this video. So hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, like I said before, if you guys did enjoy this, please consider hitting the like and the subscribe button. It helps the channel out tremendously. And it keeps me motivated to keep doing videos just like this. 
Um, so like I said, if you guys want, please uh, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxings. If not, I'll probably be one of the last few unboxings I'll do on the channel with this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this Gambit figure because I sure did. Man, this Gambit is so badass. Highly recommend picking them up. I got mine from Big Bad Toy Store. So if you guys, probably, a lot of people already have him already. But if you still haven't got him, put, try to, he might be sold out on Big Bad. So you might have to look for somewhere else for him. But if you have a chance to find him, track him down, highly recommend picking this up. If you love, if you love Gambit, you love X-Men. Just a badass representation of him. But guys, hope you guys have a wonderful, amazing day. And see you guys. Thank you.